And the finally, we're underway. The ball in the red strip and India in the blue. Very nearly a handball there in the opening seconds of the game. Referee just letting the... Well, Sandip Bry. And the crashes against the crossbar. And it's tapped in. And it's a goal for the ball. The hurl in the stadium is rocking. The Dust Ross Stadium comes to life. As the ball secures the goal. 24 minutes into the second half. There's the free kick from the Sunday Bright. Goalkeeper comes out for the ball. Goes against the crossbar and it's tipped in by Anil Gurung. This rub in. And it is goal number two. It is Jumanu Rai. A well worked move involving Robin Shestra and Jumanu Rai. Sees the letter. Slotting the ball into the back of the Indian goal as Nepal leads two goals to nil. Just nine minutes to play of this contest. Robin de Shastra from deep inside its own area saw Jamuna Rai arriving. And the man who came on as a substitute in the 28th minute, duly obliged, and brought a second. Sunil plays it to Robin. And Nabi's cross stopped by Sandin. Caught by Kiran Kuba. Big top. India have got to go back at this late stage of the game and how important this goal will be Robin Singh the career there of the Jewel Sheikh Raja and the Robin Singh unleashing a volley into the back of the Nepali goal Kiran Kuba did have a touch important the goal from the Robin Singh will be because he had to depend on whether Pakistan or Bangladesh can eat out a victory in that match. The goal difference might be a factor in the seeing who goes through to the last four. But the ball will be there for sure. There is the final whistle from the referee Adam. A 70th minute opener from Anil Guru. And 11 minutes later, one of them from Jumanu Rai, following a superb run down the lap by the defender Robin Shastra. 